4 to the power of t is equal to t to the power of 64. This is an example of a transcendental equation. Okay, and one of the best approach to use in this case is to group the unknowns and group the constant. Okay, so in this case, what you want to do is to multiply by the inverse of both sides. Multiply by the inverse of both powers. Multiply by the inverse of both powers. Okay, for both sides. So when we do that, this becomes, we have 4 to the power of t here. We'll multiply by the inverse of t and then the inverse of 64 okay and then on the right hand side same thing we did on the left we did we do t to the power of 64 is on the right hand side they will multiply by 1 over t and also 1 over 64 so we're multiplying by the inverse of both sides and when we do that t cancels out t we are left with 4 to the power of 1 over 64 Okay, on the right hand side, 64 cancels out 64. We are left with t to the power of 1 over t. Just by doing this, we have been able to group this equation. All right, so on the left hand side, let's just write t to the power of 1 over t on the left. On the right hand side, 4 to the power of 1 over 64. We want to write this in the form of this, where the, the denominator of the power is the same thing as the base. In this case, we have 4 and 64. So we want to a situation where the base of the power, the denominator of the power and the, the base are the same. So what we can do in this case is to find a way to increase the base and increase um, the power. Okay. So one easy way to get it done, you can just simply say, okay, 4 to the power of 2. Let's start with 2. 4 to the power of, since it's a multiple of 2, 4 to the power of 2. And then we bring out another 1 over 2 on the outside. I will cancel out these two. And then we have 1 over 64. Okay, let's see if we, can, if we increase this, we can get this. So 4 to the power of 2 is what? 16. Then on the outside, we have, we increase that 1 over 2 times 64 is going to give us 1 over 28. 16 and 128 are not the same. So you want to increase 16 again by saying 16 squared. Okay, when you put 16 squared on the inside, you also have to put an inverse on the outside. Then we have 1 over 28. When you evaluate this, this becomes 16 squared, simply gives us what? 256, right? On the outside, we get 1 over 2 times 128 gives us 256. You can see that this has already been written in the form of the left-hand side. So we can easily see that T is equal to 256, okay? Because T is equal to T, and 1 over T here is also equal to 1 over 256 so this simply completes this equation all right this method can be applied to many other problems like this so thank you for checking out the video i'll definitely see you in the next one